A controversial issue across the lake, the proposal for a fracking well up near Mandeville. Proponents say fracking is safe and will free America from foreign oil and coal, while opponents argue the process is laced with toxic chemicals and all kinds of other problems, especially with water tables. Joining us now with more about the effects of fracking and environmental concerns, oil industry expert Chris Faulkner uh, joining us from New York. Uh, Chris, thank you very much for joining us. Uh, first of all, most people do agree that Getting domestic oil and uh, gas is a, is a good thing. I mean, it does free America from sure. um, from foreign oil. However, the fracking process has been laced with, as we said, a lot of controversy. You see those videos of people uh, lighting their water on fire and things like that because there's a fracking well near their water supply. Right. Well, the, there are. I mean, I'm the first to admit, Eric, that there are definitely uh, perceived challenges with this process. To keep in mind. This started in 1947. We've been fracking now wells for, what, 70 years. We fracked a million and a half wells in this country alone. We frack about 18,000 additional new wells every single year. Lighting your water faucet on fire is due to naturally occurring methane. It's not due to frack fluid. It's, it's due to what uh, is already in the ground. And keep in mind, there's one big issue with their story. Water wells, if any folks out there drill one, know you drill them a few hundred feet from the surface. We're fracking six, eight, or 10,000 feet below that water table, and between us and the table are layers of impermeable rock. If the, if the rock was porous, we wouldn't need fracking to begin with because the oil and gas would just migrate to the surface. So the reality is that their story they're creating is because they're fearful of natural gas. They want only renewable energy, and environmentalists do a great job building the boogeyman of the day, and that, unfortunately for us, is fracking, and our industry needs to continue to do more education. That's why I wrote the book and made this movie, is I want to educate people on this process, starting grassroots and building from there. So are you saying that, that the fracking process is safe and that, that the folks, uh, say, in St. Tammany Parish, where they're proposing a uh, fracking well there, should not be concerned about their, their water? I, I, I'm telling you 100% fracking is safe. I live on the Barnett Shell, one of the biggest gas fields uh, in, in the United States, and, and, I, and I drink the water every single day. This process is not flawed, even though there's a lot of misinformation out there. Keep in mind, when you go through this water table, you set three layers of steel pipe encased in cement, a big one, a mid-sized one, and a smaller one, and you drill the well through there. So this has been regulated for 70-plus years, and we know where these water tables are at and whether we're fracking the well or not we take the same precautions going through the water table whether the fracking process is taking place or not so it's not about just louisiana it's about the united states it's about this planet okay so all of our uh, land if you want to call it is environmentally sensitive and this industry knows that safety is the number one precaution for us but what folks think and is this a hydraulic fracking is new and we don't know what we're doing with it the reality is it couldn't be further from the truth and i can tell you right now the epa has done three studies in the united states looking for water contamination examples, and they can't find a single one. So you're saying that, that all, all the scientists who have said that, that there are water table problems because of fracking are erroneous? What I'm saying that there are water table problems is probably due to naturally occurring what we call biogenic methane, and most people uh, have methane in their water, and that's what makes it flammable. It's and you don't think the fracking fluid. process the does anything to exacerbate that? I do not. No, absolutely do not. Now, if you've got some kind of surface spill of chemical and it comes from the surface and migrates down, I can see that. But I'm telling you right now, there's no connection between six, eight, and ten thousand feet to a water table at three to four hundred feet because the linear length of the fracking itself is between 350 and 500 feet. So there's no way to connect those two dots. So no, I'm telling you absolutely, fracking isn't contaminating anything. And bottom line, you think this is the way for energy uh, efficiency in, in, in America? Look, President Obama has dictated a war on coal, and natural gas meets and exceeds his carbon bill requirements. And if we, if we continue with what he wants to do by 2030, we've got to turn off 46% of the coal power in this country. We have a 100-year supply of natural gas. It's cheap. And I can tell you right now, I think it's created a new wave for the future of this country. Natural gas will be a bridge fuel for a very long time to support the United States' needs. We can use it for transportation, power generation. It's bringing back manufacturers to places all all around the Gulf Coast, and I think that's a great story to tell. And also keep in mind, fracking has allowed us to unlock now 8.5 million barrels of oil a day. We're on the hills of being bigger than Saudi Arabia, and that changes the global energy stage. Right. It puts America at the forefront for the first time. All right, Chris, thank you very much. Appreciate that.